While the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper is a premier bassinet, we're returning ours. Why? Let's get into it. Hey guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. So in my Baby Gear Splurge video, I highlighted the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper. And while I think it's super nice, I honestly don't think you need to overspend on any bassinet, and that includes Snoo. I think there are cheaper, simpler alternatives out there. And if you just wanna to skip to those recommendations, you can go to this time code. But for now, let's take a look at some of the features of the bassinet. So the biggest selling factor Halo has here is that this allows you to safely co-sleep without the risks of bed sharing. Now, the model that you're looking at is the Premier, which is between the Essentia on the low end and the Lux on the high end. So very subtle differences between them all, but I'll get into that later. Now off the bat, you'll notice that all sides are meshed, which I think is very important. You can see the baby from any angle and it's comforting to know that it's an open air system. So should the baby cozy up along the wall, breathing is never an issue. By the way, if you are curious about what's on our baby's ears and all that footage, go to this vlog. I explain it there. Moving on, it's got a big sturdy base that goes out 43 inches by 43 inches and it's height adjustable to fit beds from 24 to 34 inches tall. Now because of its size and weight, it's not the most portable and you're likely not going to be moving it around much. Instead, what you can do is swivel the bassinet 360 degrees to move it further or closer to the bed. The side dipping wall is another unique feature that makes it easier to pick up the baby without having to hunch over the wall, but if you want, you also have the option to lock it in place. Another key feature found on the Lux and Premier models is the Soothing Center. It's powered by three AA batteries and has a few features, including lullabies, a nightlight, a nursing timer, and a couple levels of vibration to help soothe the baby. And on the Lux models, there is a handy floor light. Depending on the model you get, it'll run you anywhere between $200 and over $300. Uh, the Essentia on the low end doesn't have a Soothing Center. The Lux on the high end has a Soothing Center, a nightlight, and more pockets. Overall, I think it's a good bassinet. I don't think you need it. So why am I returning it? Well, we all perceive value differently, and while this actually does work for majority of families out there, it just doesn't work for me. And it's because I value different functionality. And the first thing that I value is mobility, which this lacks. While the bassinet is nice along the bedside at night, during the day, I like to move it around a little bit, sometimes to a different part of our master, other times to a different room, or if I need to, I'll just move it all together to another house like my in-law so that he can sleep. I'd much rather my bassinet be mobile as opposed to buying two different units, one for the house and one for travel. The bassinet is 30 pounds, it's really not meant to be moved, and if you do have to move it, you end up just dragging it as opposed to picking it up. It's kind of awkward to pick up and move. The next thing I value is size. This has a large footprint, the legs extend out pretty far, and while I get that it needs this ability to handle that bassinet swivel, it does take up a lot of space and it's pretty easy to trip on. For our room, it just felt like it was taking up more space than it needed to. Moving on to me, the soothing center isn't worth it. The sound and light output isn't the greatest, nor is it necessary, especially if you're using something like the Hatch Baby Rest to deliver on that. And on that note, the Rest Plus just came out and I'm excited to get my hands on it, it looks legit. Ultimately, the vibrating feature is the main highlight on the panel, but honestly, whether or not that has a positive effect on your baby, is relative and for us it didn't do very much the batteries on the soothing center die super fast you always have to replace those and overall it just didn't add much value to our setup lastly bassinets are temporary this one's recommended for babies up to five months or 20 pounds your newborn just isn't in them long enough to justify a high price tag in my opinion so what would i recommend instead well, I've got three options for you. Everything is linked down below in case you are interested. And option number one would be to get a play yard along with a bassinet attachment. Specifically, the Graco Pack and Play. It has the longevity to last from newborn through that toddler stage. It's portable and it only runs you about 60 bucks versus 300 for the bassinet. Now, if you don't mind that higher price tag and you really want a good system, I would check out the Guava Family Lotus. This thing I love. They have a crib and bassinet kit that is fantastic. It has a smaller footprint than the pack and play. It's way lighter and travels much easier. And it could also be used up to three years of age. So if you're gonna drop some coin, I would do it on this guy right here. Okay. Option number two, if you just want a regular bassinet, you like that setup, that's all you need. I would hop on Amazon and go check out the Me Classic Bassinet or the Fisher Price Stow and Go. Both have all mesh sides and run for about 80 bucks. Option number three, if you've already invested in an expensive travel system like the Upper Baby Vista, it already comes with a bassinet. If you buy their accompanying stand, it is rated sleep safe. But what I will admit is it is pricey at 150 bucks. It is cheaper than 300 for the bassinet. But overall, I'd probably just go with one of the other options that I laid out. The, the, the Lotus, 
get the Lotus. That's all I've got for you guys. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless, guys. Later.